Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. And my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Welcome to day 23 of Waxman. Two days to go, guys, till Christmas Day. We're super excited. <laughs> so close, yeah. so close. <laughs> Nearly there. Ah, so if you've never joined us for Waxman before, guys, this is where we treat you to a wax removal video or foreign body removal uh, for 25 days, right up until Christmas. Yes. Uh, you lucky lot. You are very, very lucky. Uh, this is your patient, this one. Yeah, so yeah, this is my patient. So you can see here, um, to start with, it kind of threw me off a little bit because I, when I first took a look in here, I thought this was very compacted wax that had been shoved in with a cotton bud mm. because it, it looks like a dent from, yeah, from the does. front. Um, but as soon as I tried to pop over the top then with a Rosen insert that I was obviously wrong, um, this is actually a hearing aid dome, guys. So very similar to a couple of days ago, actually, yeah. on your video yeah, when you had, uh, well. uh, obviously, Reese had that clear uh, dome. I've got exactly the same dome, but it's a different color. Yeah. <laughs> so we try, oh, you can already see here, we've managed to get a slight grip here. So I got a similar issue to what Reese had on the previous video where this dome had been, has been twisted mm. sideways. Now there's, there's nothing really for us to get a good grip on here. So I'm, I am actually struggling here to get a grip on these edges of the dome. So I think what we're gonna do in a second, I think I pop back in with the Rosen inserter here. Now I found that quite handy for, for these types of problems with these domes yeah. because you've got that, that nice little point which you can yeah. get into the, the little grooves on the dome then. Yeah, so what we're trying to do here, just gently kind of poke around that, into that, gap there and just pull it around so we can get a, a much better grip with the with the forceps there's a lot of dead like dry dead skin as well attached to this dome so that's kind of uh, and you can see the, the the risk we do is actually pushing this in further so yeah. we've managed to just nip over the top here and what we're doing here is we're, we're just turning that oh, tip of the yeah you can away. see it all coming away in one go here so i was turning that spike of the rose and sort of downwards to the middle of the ear canal to avoid um, obviously any collision with the ear canal that yeah. far into the ear and that will obviously get us a better grip then as well on this on this dome oh, it's too, starting eh? to go see, oh, this again there's a lot of lot of this a mixture of wax and skin on yeah. here so we've got a bit of everything here we've got an edge here now so i think this is where we go back in yeah crocodile forceps back in here just that little skirt at the bottom you can get a grip on there can't you Still gently going to pull this though, because again, any anything in the ear canal, we don't want to just whip it straight out, because obviously we need <laughs> we need to look after the, uh, the the patient's comfort or look out for the patient's comfort, I should mm. say. So Ooh. the dome has uh, come away quite nicely. That's obviously been in there a little while. So have all that wax collected around yeah. it, and skin collected around it as well. Yeah. Now this patient actually didn't realise the dome. <laughs> similar story to your your yeah. patient actually. Um, patient didn't realise that this was actually in the ear. They thought the dome had fallen off onto the carpet. Um, and it, and like anything really, really small and tiny, as soon as it falls on the carpet, it's gone forever. You're never going to find it again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's so, true. yeah, he's obviously popped a new dome on and has inserted the hearing aid again with this dome in there, which has just kind of pushed it in a little bit further. So just tidying up the, what well, looks like the dead skin that we could see. This is obviously where it detached from the canal wall then. So um, when it wrapped around that one edge of the, um, of the, uh, the dome, sorry, um, so it's you can yeah. see it's we were talking just last video actually about this very thin type of skin um that doesn't want to come away easily and we were saying you you, you try and peel it along until you get meet a bit of resistance and that's where you tear it off uh just because that's where it's it's still attached quite firmly then to the fresher skin underneath you can see there's it's starting to tear away there now there's yeah. little 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 holes at the back there and it's quite tricky when they sort of start splitting apart like this it's quite tricky to tear that then because yeah. there's there's too much area on that skin but we've managed to get that away quite nicely let's have a look at that well quite yeah. a big retraction pocket on that yeah so actually... it looks like we've got a couple of retraction pockets there um the the patient has had hearing issues for quite quite a while uh, but not due to this these retraction pockets so a retraction pocket is just where this uh well little pockets or circles or sections of yeah. the eardrum uh, almost kind of um, sucking inward slightly yeah. a bit further than other parts of the eardrum which is why it looks 
very it's sort of bumpy. <laughs> related a lot to mid ear pressure. So if you've got reduced mid ear pressure, so the pressure behind the eardrum should be the same as the outside ear pressure, or roughly the same, uh, which keeps the eardrum sitting nice and central. But if you've got a slightly reduced mid ear pressure, what's going to happen is it's going to pull the eardrum in. Well, if you've got slightly thinner skin on parts of the eardrum, that's going to have a bigger effect on those pieces of skin. So it's going to draw them in a little bit better, a little bit more effectively, sorry. Yeah. And then you're going to end up with these little almost dents on the eardrum, which is what we call retraction pockets. It doesn't always affect hearing, but it can if they're quite pronounced. Uh, and if it's very severely retracted, it can actually have a few issues as far as the ossicles are concerned as well. It can degrade and, and start to wear down the ossicles behind as well. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's quite retracted, that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, that is quite retracted. A lot clearer now though. Much clearer. There you go. <laughs> Much clearer. There you go, so it's looking a lot better. So, go on, you do centimetres, I'll do that. Oh, centimetres, uh, one, one and a half, we'll say. We'll say one and a half centimetres. Three quarters of an inch I'm going to go with our guys, including the dome there. Uh, well, thank you so much for watching our video today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> if you really enjoyed the video, subscribe every time, I forget. Every time. Every time. Uh, so as always, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another. And me and Taylor will see you again for day 24 for Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. My birthday. And yes. a beastly one as well. Yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> so stay tuned for that one. See you tomorrow. Bye.